Before we start, I'd just like to wish a very Merry Christmas to all of our viewers and subscribers. It's been a great year for HITC7s, with a video featuring a penguin hitting over 1.5 million views, and the channel itself exceeding the 100,000 subscribers mark. We hope you've enjoyed it, and we hope there's more to come in 2019, with a few new ideas on the horizon to keep things interesting. Over the past couple of months, we have taken a look at the best footballer right now from every country in each continent, building up to today, where we compile our look at the best footballer from every country on Earth. As always, the list is based purely on current ability, and the nations featured are those affiliated with their local FIFA confederations, even if they aren't full FIFA members themselves. To be eligible, the player must either have been capped by the nation in question, or have been born there and not capped by any other nation. There's also a little throwback to those national teams that are no more at the end. We'll go through the countries, one continent at a time, starting with Europe and ending with Oceania. Here are our views on the best footballer from every country on earth right now. Albania, El Said Hussai. In alphabetical order, of course, we start with Albania, and it was a pretty easy decision for the Balkan nation. Ranked 57th in FIFA's world rankings, Albania have a handful of decent players, but El Said Hussai is comfortably the pick of the bunch. A quick, strong, and defensively solid right back, who has the legs to get up and down the pitch all game long, his side plays for Napoli in Serie A. Andorra, Mark Vales. As with our US States video, there's a lot to get through here, so we may have to be terse with one or two nations. A nation of just over 75,000 people, if anything, Andorra are overachievers in footballing terms. Our choice as Andorra's best player would be Mark Vales, a versatile defence-minded 28-year-old. Formerly of the Real Madrid third team, Vales now plays in Norway's top flight. Armenia, Henrik Mikatarian. Quite probably the easiest choice in this entire video, Henrik Mikatarian has been named as the Armenian Footballer of the Year eight times. A quick and technically gifted midfielder who can play out wide or through the middle, Mikatarian plays for Arsenal, having previously turned out for Borussia Dortmund and Manchester United. Austria, David Alaba. There was probably a time when we would have said David Alaba was the best left back in the world. Not anymore, and his form on the international stage has been particularly disappointing, so much so that Marko Arnautovic even earned a split second consideration here, but the Bayern man still has to take it for now. Azerbaijan, Dmitry Nazarov. Ranked outside of FIFA's top 100, Azerbaijan isn't a nation which boasts a whole load of top class professional footballers. Dmitry Nazarov is the pick of the bunch, a pacey second striker who plays in the second tier of German football. Belarus, Alexander Martinovic. If most people were asked to name a footballer from Belarus, they're most likely either blank or remember Alexander Halev hails from the landlocked former Soviet nation. Halev is actually still playing at the age of 37, but Belarus's finest is now Alexander Martinovic. The 31-year-old centre-back captains the national team, and he is the vice-captain of Europa League outfit FC Krasnodar. Belgium, Kevin De Bruyne. The joint leaders of FIFA's world rankings right now, Belgium have a star-studded starting 11 and they reached the semi-finals of the 2018 World Cup. Eden Hazard runs him closest, but top spot for us has to be Kevin De Bruyne. A joyous footballer with superb technique and vision, De Bruyne may be the best midfielder in the world. Bosnia, Miralem Pjanic. A timely arrival when talking about classy midfield players, Miralem Pjanic is a man who falls firmly into that category. We can't not mention Edin Zeko, who is perhaps even more of a talisman for the national team, but Pjanic would still be our pick, purely in terms of talent. An excellent passer of the ball, who is capable of controlling a game, Pjanic has been with the Juventus since 2016. Bulgaria, Ivlin Popov. These are dark days indeed for Bulgarian football. The former World Cup semi-finalists haven't even qualified for the competition for 20 years, and they rank below the Democratic Republic of Congo in the current FIFA World Rankings. Dimitar Berbatov wasn't even far off topping this one, but in the end we give it to Evelyn Popov, an explosive 30-year-old attacking midfielder who plays for Spartak Moscow. Croatia, Luka Modric. Having reached the final of the 2018 World Cup, everyone knows Croatia have assembled a nice little collection of players. By far the best, however, is Luka Modric, and the world-class central midfielder comfortably takes this one. Cyprus, Piero Sotiriu. The Cypriot national team can be a decent unit, as they proved in their most recent outing, a 2-1 win against Slovenia. They aren't really blessed with an obvious star man though, but we'd say Piero Sotiriu was the right choice as their best player. 
a devilish centre forward who was prolific for Apoel in his hometown, Sotterio now plays for Copenhagen in the Danish Superliga. Czech Republic, Petr Cech. Nine-time Czech footballer of the year Petr Cech may be on his way out now, age 36, but he is still our choice for the Czech Republic. The former Chelsea shotstopper has won it all, and he looks set to battle it out with Bert Leno for the number one shirt at Arsenal this season. Denmark, Christian Eriksen. There's not much to dwell on here, Christian Eriksen is by far and away the best footballer from Denmark. A top class playmaker who wouldn't look out of place in any team in the world, yes, Eriksen does come out ahead of Nicholas Bentner for us. England, Harry Kane. The first former World Cup winners in this seven, England reached the semi-finals of the competition in 2018. The three lines have a handful of very decent footballers, but Harry Kane is undoubtedly their star man. Still only 25, the prolific centre forward has scored 143 goals in 220 games for Tottenham and 19 goals from 32 caps for England, having won two Premier League Golden Boots and one World Cup Golden Boot. Estonia, Ragnar Klavan. He may be a bit of a forgotten man at Liverpool, but in a nation where basketball can rival football as the most popular sport, Ragnar Klavan is number one. The veteran centre-back captains the Estonian national team, with whom he has won 125 caps, as well as being named as Estonian Footballer of the Year five times. Faroe Islands Joan Simon Evanson Located halfway between Norway and Iceland, with a population that could fit inside St James's Park, the Faroe Islands are doing pretty well to rank above India and Israel in FIFA's world rankings. Their best player plays in the second tier of German football as a second striker, and somewhat ironically, spent two seasons at Newcastle United as a youngster. Finland, Lukas Radetzky. Unlike their near neighbours, football doesn't reign supreme in terms of sporting popularity in Finland, and that is reflected in the nation's success on the international stage. Lukas Radetzky is a rare Finnish talent though, the 28-year-old shot stopper, a regular in the Bundesliga, currently at Bayer Leverkusen and formerly of Eintracht Frankfurt. France, Antoine Griezmann. The reigning world champions who have a really youthful squad capable of competing for years to come, there were no shortage of options for France. Antoine Griezmann is the pick of the bunch in our eyes, the 27-year-old averaging better than a goal every other game for Atletico Madrid and having been the top scorer at Euro 2016 and the joint second top scorer at the 2018 World Cup. Georgia, Solomon Kvarkvelia. Georgia's two best players both play their club football in the Russian Premier League and we think Solomon Kvarkvelia is the better of the two. A towering centre-back, the dependable 6 foot 5 inch 26 year old plays for Lokomotiv Moscow having previously spent six years with Ruben Kazan. Germany, Manuel Neuer. There's likely to be great debate with this one, and since it comes down to current ability, it was a toss-up between Tony Crows and Manuel Neuer for us. We've gone for Neuer, but we wouldn't argue with anyone who went for Crows for too long. Neuer is an incredible presence between the sticks, who has the remarkably rare modern distinction of having had a genuine impact upon the way in which the position he occupies is played. Gibraltar, Scott Wiseman. The second lowest ranked UEFA nation, Gibraltar only became UEFA affiliated in 2013. The vast majority of Gibraltar's players play their football domestically, but one who doesn't is Scott Wiseman. The former Hull City trainee plays for Salford City FC, the free spending non leaguers who are run by some famous faces from Manchester United's class of 92. Greece, Socrates Papas Dutopoulos. Euro 2004 winners Greece have a few handy players, but their two best make of their centre back partnership. There's not much to split Roma regular Kostas Manolas and Arsenal newcomer Socrates Papastuthopoulos. They have pushed, we'd go with a slightly more experienced Papastuthopoulos. Hungary, Peter Galaxi. From the days of Puskas and Coxis to today, where Peter Galaxi takes top spot for Hungary. The nation has fallen a long way, and we almost gave this one to Balas Jujusak, but the 31 year old is playing in the UAE now, whilst Galaxi has impressed between the sticks for RB Leipzig in the Bundesliga. Iceland, Gilfi Sigurdsson. UEFA's remarkable overachievers for the last few years, the tiny island nation of Iceland currently have their best ever crop of players. Everton playmaker Gilfi Sigurdsson is still by far and away the pick of the bunch though, a really creative and technical attacking midfielder who is excellent from dead ball situations. Republic of Ireland, Seamus Coleman. Gone are the days of your Roy Keynes, Damian Duffs and Robbie Keynes, there are no real star men in the island squad anymore. Our pick, still, as the best right now though, would be Seamus Coleman. An excellent, energetic and attack-minded right back, Coleman's career was put on hold by an awful leg break in March 2017, 
but he has come back positively, making it two Evertonians in a row in this video. Israel, Eran Zahavi. It was a really tough decision picking top spot for Israel. Bibras Natko and Tom Mohamed easily could have taken it, but in the end, we have to edge towards Eran Zahavi. A lethal attacking midfielder with a ridiculous goal scoring record, Zahavi scored 124 goals in 168 games for Maccabi Tel Aviv, and the Israeli has managed 67 goals in 78 games since joining Guangzhou, R&F, outscoring any of the Chinese Super League's big money arrivals. Italy, Leonardo Benucci. Two tough choices in quick succession, it was a toss up between Leonardo Benucci, Giorgio Chiellini, Marco Verratti, Lorenzo Insigne, and even Gianluigi Buffon for Italy. Any of the above would have been open to debate, just as our choice of Leonardo Benucci is. As good a defensive reader of the game as any defender in world football, Benucci is a really solid centre back, and he returned to Juventus from AC Milan over the summer. Kazakhstan, Yerkabul and Sidekmet. This is a controversial choice for Kazakhstan, although unless you are a Kazakhstani, I doubt you'd know it was. It's controversial because Yerkan Bulan Sadik Met is 18 years old, and he has only won one cap for the Kazakh national team, although he did score in it. He may be incredibly young and inexperienced, but we already consider the Russian Premier League striker to be Kazakhstan's finest. Kosovo, Milo Rashika. The youngest members of UEFA, having only become affiliated in 2016, it makes sense that Kosovo's best player should be a youngster as well. 22-year-old Milo Rashika takes it for us, the young attacking midfielder currently impressing for Werder Bremen, having previously been capped by Albania. Latvia, Andris Vanins. There's a real blend of youth and experience in this list, and I suspect Andris Vanins will be the oldest player to feature. The 38-year-old goalkeeper has won 86 caps for Latvia, and he is still the country's number one. The veteran shotstopper currently plays for FC Zurich in Switzerland. Liechtenstein, Marcel Buschel. A tiny landlocked micro-state bordered by Switzerland and Austria, Liechtenstein have an unsurprisingly terrible national team. Their best player is Marcel Buschel, who was born in Austria, but has been capped 11 times by Liechtenstein. Age 27, Buschel is a well-rounded central midfielder who plays for Serie A outfit, Empoli. Lithuania, Lukas Spalvis. In a country where basketball reigns supreme, Lithuania don't have top-class footballers coming out of their ears. Lukas Spalvis is the best, a young forward who plays second fiddle at Kaiserslautern in Germany's Bundesliga. Luxembourg, Laurent Jans. One thing this video makes clear is that many of Europe's minnows begin with a letter near the middle of the alphabet. Luxembourg continued that trend, and their best player is Laurent Jans, who captains the national team and plays as a right back for Mets in Ligue 1. Macedonia, Goran Pandev. For a country of only 2 million people, Macedonia have produced some good players over the years. Choosing their number one required some real thought, but in the end, I'm sticking with 35 year old Goran Pandev. Formerly of Inter Milan and Napoli, the slow but technically gifted striker still plays in Serie A, but now for Genoa. Malta, Andre Shembri. I'm not saying there are no genuinely good footballers from Malta, but their best player plays in the Cypriot First Division. That man is Andre Shembri, a 32 year old striker who has scored three goals from 84 caps for the national team. Moldova, Alexandru Eperenu. It's a really easy choice for Moldova, and Alexandru Eperenu is a player who has featured on sevens before. An old school and experienced centre back, Eperenu captains the Moldova national team, as well as representing Istanbul Bashekshire of the Turkish Super League at club level. Montenegro, Stevan Jovetic. Few nations with fewer than 1 million people have churned out as much quality as Montenegro in recent years. Stefan Savic and Adam Marisic deserve mentions, but Stevan Jovetic is Montenegro's finest footballer. The 28 year old has had a career hampered by injuries, but he is a really gifted forward who has bagged 11 goals in 23 games since joining Monaco in 2017. Netherlands, Virgil van Dijk. Right, there's bound to be a big debate here between Iron Robin and Virgil van Dijk, just as there was in my head when drawing up this list. Van Dijk is of course nowhere near Robin at his peak, but since we are looking at current ability only, we've just edged towards the world's most expensive defender. The logic that got us there was ranking Robin in a list of the world's best wingers and Van Dijk in a list of the world's best centre backs. Van Dijk came out higher for us, so he takes it for the Netherlands. Northern Ireland, Johnny Evans. It doesn't seem like long ago that Johnny Evans was being linked with the likes of Manchester City, 
Arsenal, and even a return to Manchester United. And although he has fallen a fair distance since then, he's still our choice for Northern Ireland. The 30-year-old joined Leicester City from West Bromwich Albion over the summer. Norway, Joshua King. Norway have a smattering of decent players with a pretty young average age, and they'll be disappointed if they don't qualify for a major tournament over the next few years. Their best player, at both club and international level, is Bournemouth frontman Joshua King. I saw King in his formative years, and he looked like an Olympic sprinter. Lightning pace, but not a fat lot else. His game has come on leaps and bounds, and he is now a really important player for Eddie Howe on the south coast. Poland, Robert Lewandowski. Obviously. There can only be one candidate for Poland, and that is Bayern Munich striker Robert Lewandowski. A classy and complete talisman who has been putting balls in the back of the net on a regular basis for both club and country for a decade now, the 30-year-old is a seven-time Polish Footballer of the Year winner. Portugal, Cristiano Ronaldo. Also an incredibly easy decision, Cristiano Ronaldo has been the best player from Europe for more than a decade, never mind just Portugal. An incredible footballer and athlete who ranks among the greatest to ever lace up a pair of football boots, Ronaldo's inclusion will surprise no one. Romania, Stefan Radu. Best known for their heroics at the 1994 World Cup, the Romanian national team hasn't had a great deal to shout about in recent years. There were a few players who came to mind here, but ultimately Stefan Radu is the right choice. A really solid left-back who has been with Lazio in Serie A for more than 10 years, Radu retired from international duty in 2013 at the age of 26. Russia Alexander Golovin Russia showed at the 2018 World Cup that they weren't as rubbish as everyone thought, and picking a star man for territorially, the largest nation on earth, isn't easy. Their most talented player, however, has to be Alexander Golovin. A young central midfielder who is energetic and tidy on the ball, Golovin joined Monaco from CSKA in Moscow for more than 30 million euros in the summer. San Marino, Eli Benedettini. The lowest ranked UEFA nation in FIFA's world rankings, San Marino have only ever won one official match, and that was a friendly against Liechtenstein way back in April 2004. We think their best player is Eli Benedettini, a backup goalkeeper at Navarra in Italy's Serie C. Scotland, Andy Robertson. Scotland's two best players are both left-backs, Andy Robertson and Kieran Tierney. Celtic star Tierney is an exceptional young talent, but given the level in which Robertson is currently proving himself at, we have to go with the Liverpool man. A flying left-back with tremendous energy and the ability to whip a really dangerous ball into the box, Robertson is a regular for Jurgen Klopp now. Serbia, Sergei milinkovic Savic. There were at least three players who were strong candidates for Serbia, but we'd have to order them Alexander Mitrovic third, Nemanja Matic second, and Sergei Milinkovic Savic first on current reckoning. Milinkovic Savic is an enormous talent, although he is still very raw, as he proved at the World Cup. There have been talk of 100 million euro moves, but we think another season at Lazio could be the best outcome for everyone concerned. Slovakia, Marek Hamzik. Slovakia's standout player for a long, long time now, Marek Hamzik recently overtook Diego Maradona as Napoli's all-time leading scorer. The goal-getting midfielder has been playing his club football in Naples since 2007, where his impressive technique and timely arrivals into the box have proved so deadly. Slovenia, Jan Oblak. Much like Scotland, Slovenia's two finest footballers share a position. Even more inconveniently in the case of the Slovenians, that position is between the sticks meaning there really is no way of shoehorning both players onto the pitch at the same time. Samir Handanovic is a very talented and underrated goalkeeper, but Jan Oblak is probably among the best three or four goalkeepers in the world. Spain, David De Gea. I'm not 100% sure, but I have a sneaking suspicion that this will be the most debated selection in the comments section. Make no mistake, it's not a decision I've taken lightly. Sergio Ramos and Sergio Busquets are the two players who really ran David De Gea close, and the Manchester United goalkeeper's uninspiring performances at the World Cup seem to have lost him a lot of love here on YouTube. We still think he's the best goalkeeper in the world, and we just have him ahead of the aforementioned duo. Sweden, Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Equally controversial perhaps, although for altogether different reasons, is our choice for Sweden, the one and only Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Swedes may be quick to point out that their national team looks stronger without the self-aggrandizing centre forward, and I wouldn't disagree but this list is based purely on current ability. In that respect, even at 36, we think Ibrahimovic has to take it. The former PSG man has scored 17 goals in 22 games for LA Galaxy since heading over to the MLS. Switzerland, Jordan Shaqiri. 
Stefan Licksteiner, Ricardo Rodriguez and Granit Xhaka may all warrant mentions, but we believe Switzerland's best player right now has to be Jordan Shaqiri. He may have been inconsistent for much of his career and struggling for a starting berth at Liverpool right now, but the former Bayern Munich man has magic in his boots, and he'll get plenty of game time at Anfield this season with no doubt. Turkey Hakan Çalhanoğlu It was a tough choice when it came to Turkey. A couple of years ago, you'd probably have said Arda Turan. Now the former Atletico man is nowhere to be seen, and we've gone for dead ball specialist Hakan Çalhanoğlu. The 24-year-old former Bundesliga star is now a regular at AC Milan as they look to return to the apex of the European game. Ukraine Andre Yarmolenko A familiar face to most football fans, Andre Yarmolenko has been around for a while now, having been linked with everyone during his time at Dynamo Kiev. He ended up joining Borussia Dortmund, where he lasted just a season before signing for West Ham in the summer. Despite missing a sitter against Chelsea last weekend, Yarmolenko is Ukraine's best player right now in our eyes. Wales, Gareth Bale. I suspect this is the longest video we've ever made, and thank you if you've stuck about for the whole thing, but at least it ends in style. The last few countries all have decent players at their disposal, and Wales are no exception. Looking good under Ryan Giggs, Wales' star man is quite obviously Gareth Bale. The Real Madrid man could also be the star man at the Bernabeu this season, following Cristiano Ronaldo's departure, and he has already scored four goals in six games this season. Argentina, Lionel Messi Going in alphabetical order, we start with Argentina, and the easiest selection in this set. Subscribers to this channel, and if you don't fall into that category, please do feel free to subscribe, will know my thoughts on Lionel Messi. I consider him to be the finest footballer in the history of the sport, and at the age of 31, he shows no signs of decline. 11 goals in 11 games so far this season is par for the course for Messi, as is the fact he tops La Liga's assist charts once again. Messi reached a World Cup final and won the World Cup Golden Ball as the tournament's best player in 2014, but despite that, his international form is regularly used as a stick to beat him with. The fact that Messi has never won a World Cup is routinely cited as evidence that he can't be the greatest footballer of all time. We think that's a ridiculous argument, but we've no doubt Messi would love it if Argentina could get their house in order before 2022 and give him a decent chance to silence those critics. The five-time Ballon d'Or winner recently scored his 40th goal of 2018, making it 10 consecutive calendar years in which he has scored 40-plus goals. Argentina have a handful of very good players we could mention, such as Paulo Dybala and Sergio Aguero, but neither can compete with Messi. Bolivia Alejandro Chamacero A player who we have talked about in the past, Alejandro Chamacero is also a very comfortable and easy selection in this video, although obviously far less well-known than Messi. A standout player for Bolivian outfit the strongest for a number of years, Chumacero joined Puebla of Liga MX around 10 months ago. Capable of playing in either central midfield or on the right wing, Chumacero is quick and industrious, and he looks a little bit like a pocket-sized Bastian Schweinsteiger. Arguably the best box-to-box -box midfielder in Mexico, the 5 foot 4.5 inch Bolivian international has won 33 caps to date for South America's lowest ranked nation in the FIFA World Rankings. Brazil Neymar there will be some who say Neymar isn't the best player from Brazil. Those people are wrong. Whatever you think of the PSG forwards antics on the pitch, and I think they're embarrassing just for the record, he is undoubtedly a world-class footballer. Tipped for greatness literally since entering his teens, very few players cope with that kind of pressure, and it is a mark of both Neymar's talents and character that he has fulfilled his potential to become one of the best players in the world. Marcelo is the only other Brazilian who we feel probably deserves a mention, given the level of his performances for Real Madrid over the last few years, but Neymar has to be number one. The most expensive footballer of all time, Neymar has scored 39 goals in 41 games since making his world record breaking move to PSG, and he has already bagged 11 in 11 so far this season. At international level, Neymar was Brazil's star man at the 2014 World Cup, and they looked totally devoid of confidence following his injury in the quarterfinals. With 59 goals from 92 caps at the age of 26, he will soon overtake Ronaldo in Brazil's all-time scoring charts, and he has a good chance of overtaking Pele to become their all-time leading scorer one day as well. Chile, Arturo Vidal Finally, a proper decision to make, and one where we're not even sure if we agree with us. It's a straight decision between Alexis Sanchez and Arturo Vidal for Chile. Sanchez is Chile's all-time leading goalscorer and record appearance holder with 39 goals from 121 caps to date, and he won the Golden Ball at the 2016 Copper America. 
Both are exceptional players, and we wouldn't argue with anyone who's stuck by the former Arsenal man. But his difficult nine months since joining Manchester United has just pushed us towards Vidal. A fantastic midfield enforcer, Vidal can play in either holding or central midfield. An absolute workhorse who is strong in the tackle and smart enough to fully understand the limitations of his game and the strengths of his teammates, Vidal has won 100 caps for Chile, and he joined Barcelona in the summer. Colombia, James Rodriguez. Radamel Falcao and James Rodriguez are the two outstanding Colombian talents right now, and having made an impressive comeback from a horrific ACL injury, Falcao does deserve serious consideration. The 32-year-old's career looked to be in danger of petering out after two poor seasons on loan at Manchester United and Chelsea two years ago, but he has bounced back with 54 goals in 79 appearances for Monaco in Ligue 1 over the last two seasons. We've gone with James Rodriguez though, a superb talent on his day who is currently in the second season of a two-year loan deal at Bayern Munich. On loan from Real Madrid, all does not seem well with Rodriguez at Bayern right now, but there's no denying his talents. A fantastic playmaker, capable of scoring and creating goals at will, he was arguably the player of the tournament at the 2014 World Cup, but he just missed out on the golden ball to Lionel Messi. Ecuador, Antonio Valencia. The second lowest ranked South American nation in FIFA's world rankings, Ecuador have a few decent forward players like Felipe Caicedo, Enna Valencia and Jefferson Montero. Their star man is still 33-year-old Antonio Valencia though, who has won 92 caps for the national team. The right winger turned right back has enjoyed a renaissance at Old Trafford and he is currently the club's longest serving player. Signed by Sir Alex Ferguson from Wigan Athletic in 2009, Valencia was a bit one-dimensional as a winger, predictably, albeit often effectively, looking to beat his fullback to the byline before fizzing a ball into the box. We actually think he's a better right back than right winger, especially in this era of such attack-minded fullbacks, so he takes this one. Paraguay, Miguel Almiron. The next three nations all presented tricky decisions, and we start with Paraguay, where we've gone for Miguel Almiron. Experienced centre-back Pablo Cesar Aguaya and recent West Ham recruit Fabian Balbuena made it a tight call, but Almiron has looked really impressive since joining Atlanta United of the MLS in 2016. An explosive central or attacking midfielder with excellent technique, Almiron has scored 21 goals in 62 games for Atlanta, making the MLS All-Star 11 twice, the MLS Best 11 once, and being named as MLS Best Newcomer of the Year, all in the space of just two seasons. Almiron is yet to score for Paraguay, having won 12 caps for his country, but the 24-year-old is being heavily linked with a £15 million move to Arsenal in January. Peru, Jefferson Farfán. Peru made a real impression at the 2018 World Cup, despite going out in the group stages. Their fans were noisy and colourful, and their team played with a fearless and vibrant attacking style. Their three best players are Jefferson Farfan, Paolo Guerrero, and Raul Ruiz, and we think you could take your pick of that trio really. We've gone for Farfan, who averaged almost a goal every other game from the wing last season as he won a Russian Premier League title with Lokomotiv Moscow, but we wouldn't begrudge anyone who'd go for Guerrero or Ruiz instead. Farfan's recent form is made all the more impressive since he seemed to have fallen off the map a couple of years ago. Once a star of both PSV and Schalke, Farfan was linked with both Chelsea and Barcelona early in his career. He found himself playing for Al Jazeera in the UAE in 2015 though, before ending a two-year European exile in January 2017. Uruguay, Luis Suarez. The second highest ranked South American nation behind only Brazil, Uruguay have always been international football's plucky underdogs. A tiny nation with bags of talent, fight and heart, it's a choice of three for La Celeste as well. Those three are of course Barcelona forward Luis Suarez, PSG's all-time record goalscorer Edinson Cavani, and Atletico Madrid stalwart Diego Godin. All three are world-class footballers, and Godin may be the best centre-back in world football in purely defensive terms. However, our choice is Luis Suarez, who is simply the most talented of the three. The former Liverpool star is his country's all-time top scorer with 55 goals from 104 caps, and he has bagged 155 goals in 209 games since signing for Barcelona, even ending Messi and Ronaldo's La Liga Golden Boot Duopoly with 59 goals from 53 games in the 2015-16 season. Venezuela, Tomas Rincon. Venezuela have a handful of pretty decent footballers, and we have to mention Joseph Martinez, who has scored a remarkable 50 goals in 54 games in signing for Atlanta United. Other candidates include Espanyol fullback Roberto Rosales and Newcastle United striker Solomon Rondon, but neither take top spot for us. 
Our pick is Tomas Rincon, who plays for Josef Martinez's former club of Torino. The ex-Juventus and Hamburg man has won 88 caps for his country, whom he captains. An experienced midfielder with a fantastic work rate, Rincon is a dogged and determined player who doesn't shy away from a challenge. He won a Serie A title with Juve in 2017 and was named as the best player of the 2011 Copper America. This is Algeria, Riyad Mahrez. Going in alphabetical order, we make a strong start to this seven. From Nabil Bentaleb to Yassin Brahimi, Algeria have a few decent players, especially in midfield areas. Without doubt their star man is Riyad Mahrez though, who ranks among the best players from the entire continent. A Premier League title winner at Leicester City, and now with the reigning champions Manchester City, the 27-year-old wine man has an abundance of flair and he's a real danger when he cuts inside onto his favoured left foot. Angola, Bastos. Born in the Angolan capital of Luanda and capped 37 times by his country, 26-year-old centre-back Bastos is undoubtedly Angola's finest footballer in our eyes. A really powerful and uncompromising defender, Bastos made his name in Europe with Rostov, and he now plays for Lazio in Syria. Benin, Steve Munier. A familiar face to fans of the Premier League, Huddersfield Town made Steve Munier their club record signing an £11.5 million deal from Montpellier following their promotion from the Championship. Capped seven times by Benin, Munier scored a respectable nine goals last season, but is yet to find a back of the net this term in a far from prolific Huddersfield side. Botswana, Moga Kolodian Gel, Burkina Faso, Bertrand Traore. Comfortably the best footballer from Burkina Faso, Bertrand Traore has already won 47 caps for the nation of his birth at the age of 23, and he looks sure to become their most capped player of all time at some stage. A quick and versatile forward who is really good on the ball, Traore made a big impression whilst out on loan from Chelsea with both Vitesse and Ajax. Leon worked wonders to sign him for only £8.8 .8 million, and his four goals in seven games so far this season suggest that the Blues exercising their buyback clause at some stage isn't totally unlikely. Burundi, Gal Bigiramana. A product of the Coventry City Academy, Gal Bigiramana was born in Burundi but arrived in the United Kingdom as a refugee at the age of 11. He went on to appear for England's under-20s whilst contracted to Newcastle United, but the 24-year-old central midfielder, who now plays for Motherwell, has since been capped by his native Burundi. Cameroon, Vincent Abubakar. Cameroon have a pretty good production line when it comes to centre-forwards, and we think their best player right now is Vincent Abubakar. A quick and strong frontman with intelligent movement and a smart finish, Abubakar has been with Porto since 2014, bagging 56 goals in 112 games for the club. Now aged 26, Abubakar made Cameroon squad for the 2010 World Cup, aged only 18, and he has since scored 20 goals from 65 caps for the national team. Cape Verde, Zay Louise. Despite being one of the smallest nations in Africa, Cape Verde are far from being among the worst teams. In fact, they have a handful of decent players. Zay Louise is the pick of the bunch, the selfless Spartak Moscow forward who is industrious, creative, and good on the ball. The Central African Republic, Cedric Yamba. Chad, Casimir Ninga. Comoros, El Fadu Ben Nabuhan. DR Congo, Cedric Bakambu. Currently linked heavily with the move to Tottenham Hotspur, Cedric Bakambu is said to be the most expensive of all the Chinese Super League's imports, saying Beijing Sinobo Guan back a reported £65 million. Pounds. A centre forward with searing pace, Bakambu loves to get in behind defenders, and he has scored 16 goals in 15 games since heading to China. Djibouti, Ishmael Ahmed Kadar Hassan, Egypt, Mohamed Salah. Without doubt Africa's finest footballer in the 2017-18 season, Mohamed Salah scored 44 goals in 52 games in his debut season at Liverpool, and he is one of only two African players nominated for the 2018 Ballon d'Or. A hero in Egypt, the former Roman man has scored 38 goals from 61 caps for his country, including the strike which took them to the 2018 World Cup. Equatorial Guinea, Carlos Bejarano. We'll expand on this one since it was the first really tight call. The two candidates were America de Cali goalkeeper, Carlos Bejarano, and Huesca defender, Carlos Acapo. Neither player was born in Equatorial Guinea, Bejarano having been born in Colombia, and Acapo in Spain. But in the end, we've just gone for Bejarano, whose two caps for Equatorial Guinea didn't actually comply with FIFA rules. Eritrea, Henok Goita. Ethiopia, Gatano Kabedi. 
Gabon, Pierre Emerick Aubameyang. Probably the most obvious pick from the entire continent of Africa, Pierre Emerick Aubameyang is not only Gabon's best current player, but also the nation's greatest player of all time. He has scored 24 goals from 58 caps for his country, whom he captains, and the pacey former Dortmund striker has bagged 16 goals in 23 games since signing for Arsenal last January. Gambia, Steve. Right, we'd best expand on this one, otherwise you might think I'm joking. Real name Bubakar Trevali, but better known as Steve, Steve is the best player from Gambia in our eyes. A skillful and versatile footballer who has been scoring prolifically in China since 2015, Steve is currently on loan at Guizhou Hengfeng. Ghana, Quadwo Asamoah. From Schalke Loni Babaraman to Atletico Madrid enforcer Thomas Partey, there were a few candidates from Ghana. Just edging in front of the competition for us, though, is recent Inter Milan recruit Quadwo Asamoah. Brought to the San Siro from Juventus, Asamoah is versatile and hardworking, and he has won 69 caps for his country to date. Guinea, Nabi Keita. For our money, the best midfielder from Africa in world football right now, our automatic pick for Guinea is Nabi Keita. A tireless central midfielder with good technique, Keita brings a real injection of energy and impetus to a team's midfield, and that's why Jurgen Klopp was so desperate to bring him to Anfield. Age 23, he has already won 28 caps for his country. Guinea Bissau, Pele. Ivory Coast, Wilfred Zahar. Crystal Palace star Wilfred Zaha was born on the Ivory Coast, but moved to England at the age of four. He came through the youth ranks at Selhurst Park before being capped by England and signed by Alex Ferguson at Manchester United. Things didn't work out with either though, and the fleet-footed forward is now back at Palace and representing the nation of his birth on the international stage. Kenya, Victor Wanyama. Ranked 107th in FIFA's world rankings, Kenya aren't blessed with a plethora of outstanding talent. Victor Wanyama is head and shoulders above any of his fellow countrymen, the tough tackling defensive midfielder, having been with Tottenham since 2016. Lesotho, Sonny Jane. Liberia, William Jabal. No, it's not still George Weir, although he did actually turn out for Liberia in a friendly only last month, age 51. William Jabal gets the nod for Liberia from us though, the 26 year old Moroccan based forward having bagged 10 goals from 11 caps for his country to date. Libya, Ahmed Ben Ali. Madagascar, Anise Abel. Malawi, Gabadinia Mango. Mali, Musa Morega. A strike partner of Vincent Abubakar's at Porto, Musa Morega has also been prolific for the Portuguese Giants recently. Morega, who can play as either a centre forward or as a right winger, is quick and clinical, and he scored 23 goals last season, which was his first full campaign with the club. Somewhat surprisingly, he has only scored twice from 16 caps for Mali. Mauritania, Abdul Bar. Mauritius, Kevin Brew. Followers of the championship may well be familiar with Mauritius' star Kevin Brew since he recently spent four years with Ipswich Town. The 29 year old was born in Paris, but he has been capped 15 times by the nation of both his parents and now plays in the Cypriot First Division. Morocco, Hakim Ziyech. One of only a few inclusions in this list that took some real consideration, Morocco have some real talent at their disposal, but their two finest players are Hakim Ziyech and Mekdi Benatia. The last of those two, Benatia, currently plays for Juventus, having previously turned out for the likes of Roma and Bayern Munich, so he has greater pedigree. We're still backing Ziyech though, despite the midfielder only having starred in the Netherlands, since we think he's a really gifted playmaker who will prove himself at the highest level at some point. Mozambique, Mexa. Arguably two of Portugal's three greatest players of all time are born in Mozambique, so the country definitely has the potential to produce quality players. The pick of the bunch right now is Mexa, an athletic 6 foot 2 inch centre back who is pretty reliable in defence. Capped 42 times by his country, Mexa has been with Ren in League 1 since 2014. Namibia, Ryan Niambi. The only uncapped player in this video, I suspect, Ryan Niambi was born in Namibia and having never been capped by any other nation, he qualifies for this list. A quick, industrious and versatile defender, Niambi is only 20 and he has spent his entire career to date with Blackburn Rovers. Niger, Amadou Mutari. Nigeria, Victor Moses. This was a tricky one to be fair. We considered everyone from Wilfred Ndidi to John Obi Mikel, Odion Agalo, Ahmed Musa, Kelechi Inacho, 
Alex Iwobi, and even Moses Simon, who I have been a big fan of since his days at Trenton. Mikel may well be the most talented, Igala the most prolific, and Iwobi have the most potential, but in the end, we just edge towards Victor Moses. The former Wigan Athletic wide man was excellent as a wingback under Antonio Conte, and he has been capped 37 times by the most populous nation in Africa. Republic of Congo, Phoebe Bafuma. Born in France but capped 28 times by Congo, Thievi Bafuma is a pacey wide man who loves to take on defenders. Capable of playing on either flank or through the middle, the former West Bromwich Albion Loney has spent the last year or so playing in Turkey, currently starring for Super League New Boys and Karagaju. Rwanda, Solomon Nirisiraki. Reunion, Reza Suleiman. Senegal, Sadio Mane. The only other African to be nominated for the 2018 Ballon d'Or, along with Mohamed Salah, is the Egyptian's Liverpool teammate Sadio Mane. Mane made his name in Europe with an exceptional goal-scoring record at Red Bull Salzburg before signing for Southampton. He has been with Liverpool since 2016, where his pace, directness and technique have made him a vital part of a formidable front three. He just beats Kalidou Koulibaly to Senegal's top spot. Seychelles, Vincent Euphrazy. Sierra Leone, Kai Kamara A comfortable pick for Sierra Leone in our eyes, Kai Kamara is one of only 10 players to have scored more than 100 MLS goals. The 34-year-old frontman is strong, skillful, and a real menace in the air. Kamara scored 14 goals in 22 starts for the Vancouver Whitecaps in 2018. Somalia, Cisse Adenabshir Somalia are the lowest ranked African nation in the FIFA World Rankings, coming in at position number 206, just one place off the bottom. Being the best footballer from Somalia then, is a bit like being the most talented person on the X Factor. Anyhow, that title goes to Cisse Adenabshir, a well-travelled centre-back who has been playing in Norway since 2006. South Africa, Percy Tau. We have to expand on South Africa, firstly because it's a pretty debatable inclusion, and secondly because we get more views from South Africa than any other African nation. Although he missed a couple of good chances in his most recent outing, we think Tau is Bafana Bafana's best player right now. Contracted to Brighton, but on loan in Belgium, the 24-year-old has scored 6 goals from 14 caps to date. South Sudan, Fareed Najib. Sudan, Mohamed Ahmed Bashir. Swaziland, Tony Sebeds. Sao Tome and Principe, Luis Leal. A pacey Portuguese born forward with a good right foot, Luis Leal is a talented journeyman currently starring for Newell's Old Boys in Argentina. Formerly of Estoril in Portugal, Leal has scored three goals from 10 caps for Sao Tome and Principe. Tanzania, Mabuana Samata. Tanzania's outstanding footballer is Mbwana Samata, who has scored 16 goals from 44 caps for his country at the age of 25. A quick, physical centre forward who was named as the best player in Africa in 2015, Samata now plays for Genk in Belgium. Togo, Emmanuel Adebayor. Togo's all time leading goalscorer and still their best player in our eyes, Emmanuel Adebayor has got back among the goals since heading to Turkey in January 2017. The former Arsenal and Man City forward was named as the African Footballer of the Year in 2008 and he has scored 24 goals in 53 games since joining Istanbul Beşiktaş. Tunisia, Wabi Kazri. Tunisia are the highest ranked African nation in FIFA's world rankings, but they're not blessed with a myriad of individually brilliant players. Wabi Kazri is their talisman and the player they look to for that little bit of inspiration, the former Sunderland man being versatile, technical and a real threat from set pieces. He now plays for Saint Etienne in Ligue 1. Uganda, Farouk Mia. Zambia, Stopilla Sunzu. A powerful footballer capable of playing as either a centre back or defensive midfielder, Stopilla Sunzu plays for Mets in Ligue 1, and we think he is the best footballer from Zambia. Zanzibar, Kamas Machakamas. Zimbabwe, Kamabilia. A talented attacking midfielder who can also deputise as a central midfielder or as a striker, Kamabilia is undoubtedly Zimbabwe's best player in our eyes. The 28-year-old has been playing and scoring regularly in South Africa since 2010, and he recently joined the Kaiser Chiefs. Afghanistan, Kaibar Ramani. Starting in alphabetical order, as we always do, takes us to South Asia and the Islamic Republic of Afghanistan. 
Ranked 146 in the FIFA World Rankings, Afghanistan's national team isn't blessed with a myriad of top-class players, and we'd say Kaibar Amani was the pick of the bunch. An experienced German-born Afghan forward, Amani plays in the German fourth tier, and he has scored seven goals from 17 caps for Afghanistan's national team. Australia, Aaron Moy. Geographically located outside of Asia, but a member of the AFC for footballing purposes, Australia are the second highest ranked Asian nation in the FIFA World Rankings. The likes of Matthew Ryan and Tom Rogic probably warrant mentions, but our choice is Aaron Moy, Huddersfield Town's talented and technical midfield playmaker. Bangladesh, Jamal Boyan. In a nation where cricket reigns supreme, Bangladesh's finest footballer was born in Denmark. Born in Copenhagen to two Bangladeshi parents, defensive midfielder Jamal Boyan is now back in Bangladesh, playing for Saif Sporting Club. Bahrain, Fauzi Ayesh. Another player born outside of the nation they represent, Fauzi Ayesh was born in Morocco, but he has won 103 caps for Bahrain. A really versatile footballer capable of playing anywhere on the left flank or in central midfield, Ayesh is a free agent at the age of 33, having spent his recent years playing in Qatar. Bhutan, Chencho. A genuinely dreadful footballing nation, the likes of Fiji and Barbados rank above Bhutan in FIFA's world rankings. By far and away the nation's finest player, Chencho Gelchen, better known simply as Chencho, is his country's all-time leading scorer with 10 goals at the age of 22. A versatile forward who plays his club football in the Indian Super League, Chencho has been nicknamed the Ronaldo of Bhutan in his native land. Brunei, Fayak Bolkai. A player you may be familiar with, Fayek Bolkai is the son of the Prince of Brunei and he plays for Leicester City's reserves. The captain of his national team at the age of 20, Bolkai was born in Los Angeles and he is a quick and tricky wide man. Cambodia, Chan Vathanaka. Another youthful captain of a national team, 24-year-old Chan Vathanaka is Cambodia's best player by some distance. He scored 116 goals in 90 games with Bionket in Cambodia before trying his hand in Malaysia's top flight with Fahan. Vathanaka has scored 14 goals from 41 caps for Cambodia, who are currently managed by former Japan star Kazuki Honda. China, Wu Li. A huge star in China, Wu Li is the youngest Chinese professional footballer of all time, the best paid Chinese footballer in the world, and Shanghai SIPG's all time leading goalscorer. Despite competition from the likes of Graziano Pella and Alexander Pato, Li is still the top scorer in the Chinese Super League this season, with 23 goals from 25 games. A direct attacking midfielder who scores plenty of goals from the penalty spot, Li has bagged 12 goals from 56 caps for the Chinese national team. Guam, AJ De La Garza. A familiar face to followers of the MLS, AJ De La Garza won two caps for the United States in 2012 before switching his allegiances to Guam in 2013. Now comfortably the nation's finest footballer, De La Garza is a versatile defender who plays for Houston Dynamo, having previously racked up more than 200 MLS appearances with LA Galaxy. Hong Kong, Sandro. The majority of Hong Kong's best players are Brazilian born, and that goes for our pick as their finest player, Alessandro Ferreira Leonardo, better known simply as Sandro. A prolific striker who began playing in Hong Kong with Citizen at the age of 21, Sandro now plays for PSM in Indonesia. Indonesia, Boaz Salosa. Speaking of Indonesia, they are our next nation, and their top player is another prolific forward in the form of Boaz Salosa. A quick and deadly striker with decent technique, Salosa has scored 206 goals in 316 games for Per Sephora, even turning down the chance to have a crack at playing in the Eredivisie in 2011. India, Sunil Chetri. Now, this is a proud moment for HITC7s and all our Indian subscribers. In all the previous Asian videos I have done, there has been outrage at the fact that Chetri has been overlooked. The second highest scoring active international, joint with Lionel Messi behind Cristiano Ronaldo, Chetri has bagged 65 goals in 103 caps for India. His previous omissions are simply down to the questionable credentials of the Indian Super League, and whilst other Asian stars are playing their trade in some of Europe's top leagues, Chetri has previously struggled in Portugal and the United States. He's still India's talisman though, a hard-working forward who leads by example and scores goals on a regular basis. Iran, Ali Reza Jarmash. He may have made a slow start to life on the south coast with Brighton, but we still have to pick Ali Reza Jarmash as Iran's finest player. Iran are Asia's highest ranked nation, and probably rightly so, their dogged and determined approach making them tough opposition to break down, as they've shown at the last two World Cups. 
Jarm Bash was the top scorer in the Eredivisie last season before becoming Brighton's club record signing. Iraq, Ali Adnan Kadir. Iraq have a handful of decent players, including MLS regular Justin Meram, but their finest footballer is Ali Adnan Kadir. A quick fit left back or wing back who can put a decent ball into the box, Adnan was born in Baghdad and he currently plays for Atalanta in Syria on loan from Udinese. Jordan, Mohamed Aldamari. Another left back or wing back who is his nation's best player, Mohamed Eldamari is an experienced Jordanian international who plays his club football in Saudi Arabia. Japan, Shinji Kagawa. The second best Asian footballer right now in our eyes, Shinji Kagawa is a player most of you will know well. A gifted attacking midfielder who had a two year stint at Manchester United sandwiched either side of his time at Borussia Dortmund, Kagawa has been capped 95 times by Japan and he was the 2012 Asian International Footballer of the Year. Kyrgyz Republic Anton Zemlyanukin Beating Valerie Kitchen to top spot for Kyrgyzstan, Anton Zemlyanukin is a really versatile footballer who can play in attacking midfield, central midfield or on the wing with good pace and technique. His country's all-time top scorer with 12 goals, Zemlyanukin is a free agent who most recently played in Kazakhstan. Korea Republic Son Hyung Min Asia's best footballer, Son Hyung Min has starred in both the Bundesliga and the Premier League. Quick, technical and clinical in front of goal, Son was the 2015 and 2017 Asian International Footballer of the Year and he should win the award again in 2018. He won the Asian Games earlier this year with South Korea. Saudi Arabia Farhad Al Mualad. A wide man with tremendous pace and quality on the ball, Farhad Al Mualad was the star in a Saudi Arabian cyber to the 2018 World Cup. Al Mualad has scored 36 goals and made 20 assists in 128 games from the left flank for Al Ittihad, as well as scoring 10 goals from 49 caps for Saudi Arabia. He went on loan to Levante last season, where he registered two appearances, and the 24 year old still has plenty of room to improve. Q8. Farhad Al Ansari. From one Farhad to another, Q8's finest is Farhad Al Ansari. A dogged and determined central midfielder who is an excellent passer of the ball, Al Ansari plays his club football in Saudi Arabia and he has been capped 55 times by Q8. Laos. Connor Savan Sihavon. It was slim pickings for Laos, but in the end we've gone for Connor Savan Sihavon, a central midfielder for Lao Police Club who has been capped 27 times by his country. Lebanon, Basil Gerardi. The second Copenhagen born player in this video, Basil Gerardi is an unusual choice in this list. A skillful attacking midfielder with a wicked long shot, Gerardi plays for Hedjuk Split in Croatia, and he has been capped twice by the Lebanese national team. Gerardi hasn't won any caps since 2017 though, when he decided he'd rather represent Denmark. However, the midfielder hasn't yet been capped by Denmark, so he still qualifies for this list, for now at least. This Macau, Leon Cahun. A striker who scored 13 goals in 30 games for Macau, Leon Cahun plays his club football for Lee Man in Hong Kong. Malaysia, Matthew Davies. Born in Australia but capped 17 times by Malaysia, Matthew Davies is a young dependable right back who plays for Pahang, and we think he's the best footballer from Malaysia, a nation who watch more of our videos than any other AFC nation besides India and Australia. Maldives, Ali Ashfaq. A superstar in the Maldives, who is still the nation's best player at the age of 33, Ali Ashfaq has scored 52 goals in 78 games for the national team. An incredibly prolific forward who has played in the Maldives, Malaysia and Brunei, he now plays for TC Sports Club where he has scored 5 goals in 3 games. Mongolia, Muran Altan Kuyag. Footballing powerhouses Mongolia gave us a real selection headache, ranked 186th in the world, but we think their best player is probably Muran Altan Kuyag, who previously played college football, or soccer, in Missouri. Myanmar, Uang Thu. The scorer of 8 goals from 27 caps for Myanmar national team, 22-year-old Uang Thu is a sharp shooting second striker who plays his club football on loan at Police Taro in Thailand. Nepal, Rohit Chan. Highly regarded as a youngster, Rohit Chand was linked with the likes of Tottenham and Arsenal as a teenager. Now aged 26, he has won 49 caps for Nepal but hasn't quite hit those heights, playing his club football in Indonesia. Northern Mariana Islands Enrico Del Rosario 
Back when we did our video on the best footballer from every country in Asia, we named Enrico Del Rosario as the best player from the Northern Mariana Islands. The nation's first player to be recruited to play NCAA college football in the States, Enrico is a regular fixture and the vice captain of the NMI national team. After we uploaded that video, I got a very unexpected and heartwarming email from Norman Del Rosario, the manager of the Northern Mariana Islands national team. Norman told me about Typhoon U2, which left the island devastated only months ago, and said the video brought a smile to their faces, even in light of such a catastrophic disaster. Norman was kind enough to send us some images of Enrico, which we didn't previously have, and I'm sure you'll all join us in wishing the island a full recovery from the typhoon and a successful future, both on and off the pitch. Omar, Ali Al Habsi. Much more well-known, Ali Al Habsi is particularly well-known in England, the former Premier League goalkeeper having turned out for the likes of Bolton, Wigan, Brighton and Reading. Oman have a few decent players, but we think Al Habsi is still the pick of the bunch, now playing his club football in Saudi Arabia. Pakistan, Zesh Raven. The sixth most populous nation on earth, Pakistan are absolutely terrible at football. Seriously terrible. They are Asia's lowest ranked nation in the FIFA World Rankings, which is quite incredible. Birmingham-born defender Zesh Raymond is their best player, the 35-year-old who plays in Hong Kong, having won 22 caps for Pakistan. Philippines, Neil Etheridge. A former Chelsea and Fulham Academy member, Neil Etheridge was playing in League One as recently as 2017. However, the 28-year-old shot stopper with good reflexes now plays for Cardiff City in the Premier League, where he has impressed for the Bluebirds so far this term, despite the team struggles. Etheridge has won 61 caps for the Philippines, and we think he's their best player. Palestine, Jaka Ibishaya. Born and raised in Slovenia, Jaka Ibishaya has played his club football in Slovenia, Qatar, Thailand, and Austria. Capped 14 times by Palestine, the versatile 32-year-old is currently playing low league football in Austria. Korea DPR, Han Kwang Song. The Democratic People's Republic of Korea, which is neither democratic nor is it very helpful to most of the people who live there, is often better known as North Korea. Han Kwang Song may only be 20 years old, but he's already the nation's outstanding footballer and the first North Korean to play in Syria. Contracted to Cagliari, but on loan with Perugia, Kwang Song has won two caps for his country to date. Qatar, Rodrigo Tabata. The hosts of the 2022 World Cup, Qatar looks set to be the worst national team in World Cup history. Their best player is a 37-year-old Brazilian-born attacking midfielder named Rodrigo Tabata, a talented journeyman formerly of Santos and Besiktas. Tabata became eligible to play for Qatar after five years with Al Rayyan, and he won 14 caps between 2016 and 2017. Singapore, Safuan Baharudin. A Singapore international who plays his club football in Malaysia with Pahang, Safuan Baharudin may be the most versatile footballer in Asia, and we think he's the best player from Singapore. Capped 81 times at the age of 27, Baharudin previously spent time on loan at Melbourne City in the A-League. Sri Lanka, Wira Singh Suja. It's slim pickings from Sri Lanka, to put it mildly. We'd like to have gone for Ahmed Razik, but since he was born in Berlin and hasn't been capped by Sri Lanka, we can't. In the end, we give it to Wira Singh Sujan, Sri Lanka's number one and the only player in the country's national team playing outside of Sri Lanka's domestic league. Syria, Omar Al Sommer. I'm sure some of you, like me, watch Syria's World Cup qualification bid with interest, as the Western Asian minnows came closer than anyone expected to qualifying for the finals in Russia. There are a few decent Syrian footballers, but the pick of the bunch is Omar Al Sommer. A 29-year-old striker who has bagged 85 goals in 85 games for Al Ali in Saudi Arabia, Al Sommer is an intelligent forward who is good in the air and absolutely clinical when it comes to his half and even quarter chances. He almost signed for Nottingham Forest in 2012 before his work permit application was turned down. Thailand, Firathon Bunmathan. There is a surprisingly high number of left-backs in this list and Thailand's finest is up there with the best of them. Thirathon Bumathan is a five-time Thai League title winner and he is currently on loan with Vassal Kobe in Japan's top flight. Tajikistan, Parvizon Umarbeya. You can always rely on Tajikistan to give me a nice easy name to pronounce. Just consider yourselves fortunate, I didn't attempt his middle name. However, Parvizon Umarbeya is Tajikistan's best player, the attacking midfielder currently playing for Lokomotiv Plovdiv in Bulgaria, having come through the youth ranks at Ruben Kazan. Turkmenistan, 
Ruslan Mingazov. A talented wide man who has made a name for himself in Latvia and the Czech Republic, Ruslan Mingazov is Turkmenistan's outstanding talent, and he currently plays for Pribram on loan from Slavia Prague. Timor Leste, Janinio Souza. The Timor Leste national team, which represents East Timor, presents us with our third Brazilian born player in this list. Janinio Souza is a 29 year old product of the Sao Paulo Academy, who has played almost exclusively in Asia since 2012. Currently representing Kuala Lumpur in the Malaysian Super League, Souza won 10 caps for Timor Leste before the AFC ruled him and 10 others ineligible to represent the nation in 2017. He still qualifies here though. Chinese Taipa, Tim Chow. Born in St Helens, England, formerly of Wigan Athletic and Ross County, now playing as club football in Serbia and capped once by the Chinese Taipa national team, also known as the Taiwanese national team, it's about time you heard about Tim Chow if you hadn't already. An industrious central midfielder who made his football league debut as a replacement for Jermaine Pennant, Chow is eligible to represent Chinese Taipa since his granddad was born in China and moved to Taiwan after World War II. United Arab Emirates, Omar Abdul Rahman. One of the best footballers in Asia right now, Omar Abdul Rahman is an extremely gifted, skillful, and creative midfield schemer who can play on either flank or through the middle. Currently on loan in Saudi Arabia with Al Hilal, Abdul Rahman was born in Riyadh, but he has been capped 71 times by the United Arab Emirates. Uzbekistan, Odil Akhmedov. There are a few decent Uzbek footballers, but the best of the lot is Odil Akhmedov. A well-rounded and hard-working central midfielder, Akhmedov previously spent five years in the Russian Premier League with Anzi and Krasnodar, and he is now starring for Shanghai SIPG in the Chinese Super League. Vietnam, Ungoyan Van Quyen. Despite football being the most popular sport in a nation of almost 100 million people, Vietnam haven't really produced any top-class footballers, and their national team is ranked outside of FIFA's top 100. Ngoyen Van Quyer is the country's best player, a right winger or attacking midfielder, who plays for Hanoi FC and has won 50 caps for Vietnam's national team. Yemen, Ala Al Sassi. The final player and nation in this video, I'd like to say we end on a high, but that'd be a bit of a lie really. Ala Al Sassi is Yemen's best player right now, a Qatar based 31 year old centre forward who has bagged 11 goals from 58 caps for his country. Anguilla. Gurdon Connor. Going in alphabetical order, as we always do, means we start with one of the lowest ranked nations in the FIFA World Rankings. You could fit the entire population of Anguilla into some English non-league stadiums, so it should come as no surprise that they don't have a plethora of top class players. Honourable mentions go to Jermaine Hughes and Ryan Little, but Gurdon Connor is our pick, the veteran 39 year old Roaring Lions midfielder still captaining the national team. Antigua and Barbuda, Marlon Romeo. Antigua and Barbuda's all-time leading goalscorer and appearance holder Peter Byers is still going strong at the age of 34, but our choice for the Commonwealth nation is Marlon Romeo. Born in Westminster, England, Romeo is a quick, industrious, and attack-minded right-back who plays for Millwall in the Championship. Aruba, Gregor Breinberg. This spot would have gone to Denzel Dumfries if it wasn't for the PSV fullback's recent decision to represent the Netherlands instead of Aruba. That being the case, Gregor Breinberg comfortably comes out on top. The 27-year-old Sparta Rotterdam defensive midfielder is an intelligent footballer who reads the game well, and he's won five caps for the country. Barbados, Hallam Hope. Another English-born and English-based player, Barbados' two finest current players play their club football in League Two, and we think Hallam Hope is the better of the two. Age 24, the former Everton trainee currently plays for Carlisle United, and he has scored two goals from two caps for Barbados. Belize, Dion McCauley. Born in Belize City and capped 43 times by the country's national team, Dion McCauley is Belize's all-time record goalscorer at the age of 31. A pacey forward who has previously played in Costa Rica and Honduras, McCauley is currently playing for Georgia Revolution in the United States. Bermuda, Naki Wells. The automatic pick for Bermuda, Naki Wells has only won 9 caps for his native country, although he did score 5 goals in those games. A really quick and sharp shooting striker, Wells was previously a star man for both Bradford and Huddersfield, and he currently plays for Queen's Park Rangers on loan from Burnley. Bonaire, Jurek Scheinpal. Bonaire aren't FIFA members, meaning they can't qualify for the World Cup, but they are CONCACAF affiliated, so they do feature here. We think Jurek Scheinpal is their best player, although it was a close run thing. 
The British Virgin Islands, Matthew Bell. Born in Stoke-on-Trent, but capped twice by the British Virgin Islands in 2015, Matthew, or Matty Bell, is a really versatile non-league footballer. A product of the Port Vale Academy, Bell has been with Nantwich Town since 2015, where he is a first-team regular. Canada, Cal Larin. There's likely to be a bit of debate about this one, as we overlook Premier League wide man Junior Hoylet, who is deserving of an honourable mention, and particularly teenage sensation Alfonso Davis, who some would already consider to be Canada's finest player. We've no doubt that the Bindbound winger will soon take the title, but for now, we're just edging away from the 17-year-old and towards another former MLS starlet in the form of Kyle Larin. A prolific scorer for Orlando City, Larin joined Besiktas in January 2018, where he scored 7 goals in 17 games. Cayman Islands, Mark Ebanks Another centre-forward, our choice for the Cayman Islands is Mark Ebanks, who has scored 5 goals from 10 caps for the national team and plays his club football in California. Costa Rica, Kaylor Navas. Undoubtedly Costa Rica's finest footballer, we have often defended Kaylor Navas in light of some undue criticism. A goalkeeper with impressive reflexes, Navas rarely let Real Madrid down during a period of remarkable success in the Champions League, and we'd question whether they look any more assured with Thibaut Courtois between the sticks. Cuba, Osvaldo Alonso. A number of Cuban footballers have defected to the United States over the years, and back in 2007, Osvaldo Alonso did just that. More than a decade on, the 32-year-old is now Seattle Sounders' all-time record appearance holder, and he has been an MLS All-Star four times. Curaçao, Eloy Roo. There are a couple of candidates for Curaçao, but despite being a backup goalkeeper at PSV now, we still think Eloy Roo is the nation's number one player. Capped 18 times by his country, Room is a well-rounded shotstopper who was previously a regular at Vitesse. Dominica, Julian Wade. A 28-year-old striker who has played for five different clubs in five different countries, Julian Wade currently plays his club football in Guadeloupe. Formerly capped by Montserrat, Wade has now scored 13 goals from 25 caps for Dominica, meaning he's just one goal off, becoming the nation's all-time leading scorer. Dominican Republic, Mariano. Possibly the most comfortable selection in this entire video, although Mariano retired from representing the Dominican Republic after just one cap, unless and until he is capped by Spain, he will remain eligible here. Mariano scored in that single cap for the Dominican Republic, which came against Haiti, and the quick, clinical 25-year-old joined Real Madrid in the summer following a prolific season in Ligue 1 with Lyon. El Salvador, Darwin Serret. Ranked 70th in the FIFA World Rankings, there are a few capable footballers from El Salvador, but we think Darwin Serran is the pick of the bunch. Capped 41 times by his country, the tough tackling central midfielder plays his club football for Houston Dynamo in the MLS. French Guyana, Ludovic Barl. A regular in league gun for the side that finished 5th in France last season, Ludovic Barl has to be French Guyana's best player. A pacey left back who can put a dangerous ball into the box, Barl has been with Rennes since leaving RC Lens in 2015. Granada, Aaron Pierre. Born in West London but capped four times by Granada, Aaron Pierre is a powerful centre back who plays his club football for Northampton Town. Guadeloupe, Claudio Berthu. Legendary French international Lilian Toram was born in Guadeloupe, but he chose to represent France instead, with whom he won both the World Cup and the European Championships. In terms of the nation's current crop, we'd go for Claudio Berthu an experienced forward, currently on loan in France from Celta Vigo. Guatemala, Ricardo Jerez Jr. A towering shot stopper with decent handling, 32-year-old goalkeeper Ricardo Jerez Jr. is our choice for Guatemala. Capped 44 times by his country, Jerez Jr. has been playing in Colombia's top flight since 2013. Guyana, Warren Creaval. Another versatile footballer who plays in the MLS, Warren Creaval was born in the US state of Georgia, and he represented the United States at under 20 level. He has won two caps for Guyana since 2016 though, and we think he's the nation's best player. Haiti, Roman Genovoy. The second con player in any of the last few entries in this video, former Nice defender Roman Genovoy is Haiti's standout player. A really athletic centre-back, Genovoy was born in Haiti, but he was adopted by a French family at the age of three. After many reservations about representing the nation of his birth, Genovoy has done so eight times to date. Honduras, Andy Nahar. 
a quick and skillful right-sided footballer who has been playing for Anderlecht in Belgium since 2013, and Inahar is undoubtedly Honduras' best player based on current ability. The former DC United man has won 35 caps for his country at the age of 25. Jamaica, Leon Bailey. Probably the only uncapped player in this list, Leon Bailey qualifies for Jamaica since he was born there and hasn't been capped by any other nation. The former Genk and current Bayer Leverkusen winger is a star in the making. He has raw pace, quick feet, and most importantly of all, he's highly effective in the final third. Martinique, Jean Sylvain Babin. A strong, hard-working and fully committed centre-back, currently playing for Sporting Gijon in Spain's Segunda Division, Jean Sylvain Babin is our choice for the French overseas territory of Martinique. Mexico, Herving Lozano. A player who we've been talking about for a while now, the talents of Herving or Chucky Lozano are no longer such a well-kept secret. He built a big reputation for himself at Pachuca in Liga MX, and he hasn't disappointed this since signing for PSV in the summer of 2017. Quick, tenacious, good on the ball, and dangerous in front of goal, Lozano has recently been linked with a move to Chelsea, and we don't think it'll be long before Mexico's star man can be found in the Premier League. Montserrat, Lyle Taylor. A former non-league star whose form has been very patchy for much of his career, Lyle Taylor has been very prolific at times. The scorer of three goals from three caps for Montserrat, Taylor currently plays for Charlton Athletic in League One, where he's bagged eight goals in 15 games. Nicaragua, Juan Barrera. A bit of a journeyman left winger whose career has taken him from Austria to Venezuela, Juan Barrera is currently turning out for Boyaca Chico in Colombia. He has scored 16 goals from 48 caps for Nicaragua, making him their all-time leading goalscorer. Panama, Roman Torres. A familiar face to those who followed Panama's commendable qualification for the 2018 World Cup and their slightly less admirable performances at the finals itself, Roman Torres is Panama's talisman, leader, and star man. We quite like the look of youngster Jose Luis Rodriguez in Russia, who is now playing in Croatia, but it is Seattle Sounders centre-back Torres who has to take this one. Puerto Rico, Jeremy Hall. A former US youth international who was born in Florida, Jeremy Hall has won four caps for Puerto Rico. The pacey and versatile former Toronto FC regular now plays for Sacramento Republic in the United Soccer League. St. Kitts and Nevis, Roman Sawyers. By far and away the finest footballer from St. Kitts and Nevis is 26-year-old Brentford star Roman Sawyers. The technically gifted former Walsall attacking midfielder has scored four goals from 22 caps for the Caribbean island nation. St. Lucia, Canigia Elva. When you think of footballers by the name of Canigia, Canigia Elva might not be the first player who springs to mind, but we think he's the best player from St. Lucia. Preventing Leon Bailey from being the only uncapped player in this list, Elva was born in St. Lucia, but looks likely to represent Canada on the international stage. A product of the Stuttgart Academy, he hasn't yet, so he still takes this one for St. Lucia, for now at least. St. Martin, Elvis Fleming. Another non-FIFA affiliated nation, it was slim pickings for St. Martin. Elvis Fleming is our best shout, a 29-year-old midfielder who plays in the fifth tier of French football. St. Vincent and Grenadines, O. Alexanderson. A 22-year-old centre forward who has already averaged a goal every other game for the St. Vincent and Grenadines national team, O. Alexanderson has to take this one. A free agent most recently contracted to the Seattle Sounders, Anderson is nicknamed Bounty by his fellow countrymen. Surinam, Stefano Rigicel. From the country which gave us the likes of Clarence Seedorf, Edgar Davids, and Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank, Suriname's best current player is a little bit less of a household name. Stefano Rigicel is a forward who has scored 12 goals from 33 caps for his country, currently playing his club football domestically with SV Robin Hood. Bahamas, Leslie St. Fleur. A centre forward who was born in Haiti, plays in Jamaica, and has been capped 12 times by the Bahamas, Leslie St. Fleur is a diminutive and sharp shooting frontman. He has scored 47 goals in 80 games for Montego Bay United in Jamaica, having scored 57 goals in 12 games for his previous club in the Bahamas. Trinidad and Tobago, Joe Avin Jones. One of only six CONCACAF nations to have appeared at the World Cup Finals since the turn of the millennium, Trinidad and Tobago have a few decent players. Joe Avin Jones would be our choice as the best of the lot, the quick and attack-minded left-back currently playing for Darmstadt in Germany, having previously starred in the MLS. Turks and Caicos Islands, Billy Forbes. 
The worst national team on the planet according to FIFA's world rankings, Turks and Caicos Islands come in rock bottom in 211th place. US-based striker Billy Forbes is the nation's best player, currently playing for Phoenix Rising in the United Soccer League. The United States of America Christian Pulisic the country which views by far the most of our videos in this list, we do apologise to our American viewers who had to wait this long to see your own nation feature. Except for those of you who just skipped to this point, you people cheated, and you're the worst. Anyhow, those of you who were waiting for this probably knew what to expect. Christian Pulisic seems to have been around for ages now, and that's testament to the amount of experience he has already gained, but he's still only 20. Pulisic has already racked up a century of appearances for Bundesliga leaders Borussia Dortmund, as well as scoring 9 goals from 21 caps for the national team, and we think you have to consider him the US's finest footballer. The US Virgin Islands JC Mack An experienced midfielder who has previously played in the United States, France and Finland, 30-year-old JC Mack currently plays for Vestry in Iceland. Capped twice by the US Virgin Islands this year, he is the country's best footballer, making him the final entrant in this list. American Samoa Nikki Salapu. Going in alphabetical order, we start with American Samoa, a national team who hold the unenviable title of having recorded the heaviest defeat in the history of international football. That defeat came in April 2001 when they were beaten 31 0 by Australia. American Samoa aren't steeped in footballing excellence then, but they have improved their fortunes thanks to the help of some US college players over the last half decade. Our choice as the nation's finest player right now is Nicky Salapu, a 38-year-old goalkeeper who has previously played in Austria and Indonesia. Salapu was unfortunately the goalkeeper who conceded that 31-goal haul against Australia, but he was also American Samoa's number one when they recorded their first ever World Cup qualifiers win. The Cook Islands, Tyrrell Beringer Tahiri. Exactly level on points with American Samoa in 192nd place in the FIFA World Rankings, the Cook Islands are a group of 15 islands which are better known for tourism, offshore banking and pearls than they are for their world-beating footballers. A population of around 18,000 people makes the Cook Islands one of the smallest FIFA-affiliated nations, and we think Tyrrell Beringia Tahiri is the nation's best player. The 24-year-old centre-back was born and plays his domestic football in New Zealand, but he has been capped three times by the Cook Islands national team. Fiji, Roy Krishna Ranked 10th in the Rugby World Rankings, Fiji are ranked 167th when it comes to football, so it's not hard to see where their strengths and allegiances lie. They do have one outstanding footballer though, and that man is 31-year-old forward Roy Krishna. By far and away the nation's best player, Krishna plays his club football in New Zealand, where he has scored 33 goals in 96 games for Wellington Phoenix in the A-League. A quick forward with good movement, Krishna was Wellington's Player of the Year last season and he has bagged 22 goals from 34 caps for Fiji's national team. Kiribati Nabaruru Batiri The Kiribati national team aren't FIFA members, but they are affiliated with the OFC. They have only ever played 10 recognised fixtures, all of the Pacific Games between 1979 and 2011, and they lost all of them, so we're not exactly blessed for choice. Nabaru Rubatiri is our best shout, a 33-year-old defender who has won a joint record 8 caps for the national team. New Caledonia Cesar Zuola In case you hadn't guessed by now, Oceania isn't really a footballing hub, and despite being one of the region's best national teams, New Caledonia are still ranked below the likes of Ethiopia and the Maldives in FIFA's world rankings. Cesar Zuola is the best player from the French Overseas Territory, a 29-year-old winger who plays his club football in France's fourth tier. New Zealand Chris Wood Since Australia joined the AFC, New Zealand have been by far and away the best national team in the OFC. Their FIFA World Ranking doesn't really reflect that, but they're the region's only team to have played at the World Cup. Winston Reid and Chris Wood are New Zealand's two obvious candidates, and we give the nod to Wood, a fairly consistent scorer in England who will soon be his national team's all-time leading goalscorer, aged only 26. New A. No idea. Well, this is awkward. We genuinely have no idea with New A. In fact, we couldn't even name a footballer from the island nation, never mind who was the best. In our defence, New A is home to only 1,600 people at the last count so it's hardly a surprise that we struggled. Since we can't tell you about a player, we'll just share some facts about the Pacific Island nation itself instead. There are no traffic lights in Niue. Between 90-95% to of Niueans live in mainland New Zealand rather than in Niue itself. 
In 2003, UA became the first country in the world to provide free wireless internet connection to every one of its citizens. And in 2008, it became the first country where every school student is provided with a free laptop. Papua New Guinea, Nigel Dabbing Yaba. One of the most rural and culturally diverse nations on earth, rugby league is by far and away the most popular sport in Papua New Guinea. Nigel Dabbing Yaba is the national team standout player, the scorer of eight goals from just 12 international caps. A quick, strong forward with good technique, Dabbing Yaba can play on either the right flank or through the middle, and he has previously played in Australia and Malaysia. Samoa, Joseph Dan Torel. Another rugby-loving nation, our pick as Samoa's best footballer is Joseph Dan Torel. Capped six times by Samoa, the midfielder plays his club football in New Zealand's second tier. The Solomon Islands, Mika Lia Alafa. The second highest ranked OFC nation behind New Zealand, the Solomon Islands national team have previously earned draws against both New Zealand and Australia. Mika Lia Alafa stands out as the country's top player, a right winger with good acceleration and decent technique. He plays his club football for Auckland City in New Zealand. Tahiti Tianui Taha Tahiti famously became the first national team other than New Zealand and Australia to win the OFC Nations Cup in 2012, which gave them access to the 2013 Confederations Cup, where they were annihilated by both Uruguay and Spain. Tahiti's best player is Tianui Taha, who has scored 16 goals from 26 caps for the national team. Tonga Sion Uhatahi. The country of Tonga is made up of some 169 islands, 36 of which are inhabited, and 70% of the nation's 100,000 strong population live on the main island of Tonga Tupu. Tonga are the lowest ranked OFC nation in the FIFA World Rankings, coming in at position number 204. We've gone for Sioni Uhatahi as the country's best footballer, a 30 year old defender who has won 10 caps for Tonga. Tuvalu. Alapau Patoa. The scorer of 8 goals from 10 caps, Alapu Patoa is undoubtedly Tuvalu's best player, and he has previously played in both New Zealand and in the Netherlands. At this point, I'd also like to just apologise to 97% of the players in this list for my pronunciation of your names. I did try, I promise. Vanuatu, Brian Kaltak. Another New Zealand based player, Brian Kaltak recently signed for Auckland City, where he is a teammate of the Solomon Islands star man. Mika Lia Alafa. Capped 14 times by Vanuatu, Kaltak has scored an impressive four goals for the national team despite being a centre back. Antarctica, Ferenc Frostbite. There will no doubt be outrage from some that Steve Freeze isn't our choice for Antarctica. Having suffered a serious fracture to his bill in March, the deep line playmaker has played very little football for a while now. In his absence, Ferenc Frostbite has really stepped up to the plate. The graceful four-year-old had an impressive debut campaign last term, but he has really come into his own at the start of this season. He may not be the quickest or strongest, but he is such an intelligent and technically gifted player, and 23 goals from his first 10 games so far this season is enough for us to give him the title for Antarctica. Czechoslovakia, Josef Masopust. The greatest Czech footballer of all time, and yes, we are including Pavel Nedved in that, Josef Masipas recently made our feature length look of the 100 greatest footballers of all time, so he was a shoe in here. Oh, and you should really check that video out if you haven't already, I'll even stick a link to it in the video description since I'm nice like that. A Ballon d'Or winner in 1962, back when the award meant something and wasn't just a popularity contest dictated by sponsors and agents, Masipust was a tireless midfield all-rounder with quick feet, an eye for a pass and a fantastic understanding of the game. He spent the vast majority of his career with Dukla Prague, meaning most people only saw him play in international football. Thankfully, Masipus turned on the style for Czechoslovakia, making the team of the tournament at both the European Championships in 1960 and the World Cup in 1962. At the latter of those two, the World Cup Finals in Chile, Masipus helped Czechoslovakia to the final, a game in which he scored but was powerless to prevent a 3-1 win for Brazil. The Czechoslovakia national team ceased to exist in 1993, when the nation was split up into the Czech Republic and Slovakia. Saarland, Gerhard Siegel. Following German defeat in World War II, Saarland was partitioned from Germany to form a protectorate administered by the French. Between 1950 and 1956, Saarland was an independent member of the Council of Europe, as well as being a full FIFA member. 
The only notable competitive football the nation played was the 1954 World Cup qualifiers, where they finished ahead of Norway but second to West Germany, who they would later merge with following a referendum. From Herbert Martin to Kirk Clemens, there were a number of good Saarland internationals, the vast majority of whom played their club football for Saarbrücken. Our pick for Saarland, though, is prolific Munich-born striker Gerhard Seidel. Seidel played for the likes of Bayern Munich, Saarbrücken and Basel, scoring four goals from 16 caps for Saarland and later three goals from six caps for West Germany. Unfortunately, we don't have any pictures of Seidel other than this Saarland team photo. West Germany Franz Beckenbauer Mentioned there is the national team that Saarland merged with and the national team who finished above them in qualification for the 1954 World Cup, West Germany went on to win that tournament in extraordinary fashion on home soil. By far the most successful national team in this video, the West German national team, officially the Federal Republic of Germany national team, spanned from the end of World War II up until the reunification of Germany in 1990. During that time, the West German national team played in 10 World Cups, winning the tournament three times, reaching six finals and a further two semi-finals. It doesn't take a genius to figure out that there were a very many fantastic West German internationals then, and we'd have to give special mentions to the likes of Fritz Walter, Gunter Netzer, Lothar Matthäus and Gerd Müller. Ultimately though, top spot has to go to Franz Beckenbauer, a man who recently came in 8th in our list of the 100 greatest footballers of all time. Beckenbauer was both a warrior and an intellectual on the pitch. Having started out as a central midfielder, he ended up operating primarily as a sweeper, where he was formidable defensively and a constant source of creativity as a deep-lying playmaker. A three-time Ballon d'Or winner and the greatest defender of all time, he has to take this one. East Germany Matthias Sammer Following West Germany, it could only be East Germany. Less successful than their near neighbours, former fellow countrymen and eventual fellow countrymen once more, the East German national team spanned from 1952 to 1990. In that time, they only managed to qualify for one major tournament, the 1974 World Cup. They beat West Germany and qualified for the second round at the finals, but were eventually knocked out following defeats to Brazil and the Netherlands. East Germany had some very fine footballers, including their top scorer Joachim Streich and Dynamo Dresden legend Hans-Jürgen Dorner, but our pick as the national team's best player has to be Matthias Sammer. A world-class sweeper who could also play in defensive midfield or as a centre-back, Sammer was a fierce competitor but also a very good technician, and he won the Ballon d'Or in 1996. Best remembered for his time with Borussia Dortmund, where he won two Bundesliga titles and a Champions League, Sammer won 23 caps for the East German national team and 51 caps for the unified German national team, with whom he also won Euro 96. Ireland Johnny Carey The fourth oldest international team in football history, the Ireland national team was founded in 1882 and played right through until 1950. Although the Ireland national team was run out of Belfast, players were selected from the entire island of Ireland, and games were played in both Northern Ireland and the Republic of Ireland. In the end, in preparation for the 1954 World Cup, a separate Northern Ireland national team was founded. Many great players represented the Ireland team, such as Bernie Great, Jimmy McElroy, and the remarkably prolific Joe Bambrick. In the end though, we've gone for Manchester United's former First Division and FA Cup winning jack of all trades, Johnny Carey. Primarily a right back, Carey was an incredibly talented and versatile player, and he won 29 caps for Ireland. Malaya Abdul Ghani Minna If you thought this list was going to be all Franz Beckenbauer's and Matthias Sammers, then I've got bad news for you although many of you say that you prefer to hear about more obscure players and regions. Well, if that's the case, then you're in luck, since we're certainly going to be getting more obscure as this list goes on. Kicking us off in the plays you've almost certainly never heard of category is Malaya's finest Abdul Ghani Minna. The Malaya national team spanned from 1953 to 1963, when it became the Malaysia national team, and their best player was actually a pretty obvious show. Abdul Ghani Minat is considered by many to be the greatest Malaysian footballer of all time. Minat trained with the likes of Arsenal, Tottenham and Eintracht Frankfurt during his career and the gifted frontman scored 31 goals from 39 caps for the Malaya national team. Tanganyika No idea Okay, subscribers to this channel will know that this doesn't happen very often. In fact, I think in our upcoming video on the best footballer from every country on earth, there'll only be one country that we haven't named a player for, two at the most. 
So it is no exaggeration when I say I have literally no idea who Tanganyika's best player was. The Tanganyika national team unsurprisingly represented the nation of Tanganyika up until the country's union with Zanzibar in 1964 to form the Tanzania national team. Mandatory Palestine Johannan Sukunik Brazil, Germany, Argentina, Mandatory Palestine When discussing the famous footballing dynasties, you just can't forget the great national team of Mandatory Palestine. Okay, you can, and I'd never heard of them before making this video, but they did exist. Representing the British Mandate for Palestine from 1934 up until the State of Israel was declared in 1948, you will sometimes see the Mandatory Palestine national team described as an Ersatz Israel national team. Either way, our choice as the short-lived national team's best player is Yohan Insukanik, a talented halfback and four-time title winner with Hapoel Tel Aviv who won four caps for Mandatory Palestine. South Vietnam Lee Van Ho from French occupation to US intervention, most of you will know that Vietnam has had a pretty complex and often bloody past. Between 1949 and 1975, there were separate South and North Vietnamese national teams, although only the South Vietnamese, officially named the Vietnam National Team, were FIFA members. We must admit to not knowing much about the South Vietnamese national team, unsurprisingly, but their finest achievements were drawn with Hong Kong at the 1956 Asian Cup and reaching the quarterfinals of the 1958 Asian Games. It made sense then to go for a player who featured in both of those squads, so we've gone for midfielder Lee Van Ho. North Yemen. No idea. Okay, I know I said this doesn't happen a lot, but it's going to happen twice today. The North Yemen national team, officially Yemen AR, competed from 1965 right up until 1990, but we still have absolutely no idea about their individual personnel. If you do, please do let us know in the comments. South Yemen Abubakar Al Mas We may have struggled with the minnows of North Yemen, but when it comes to the titans of South Yemen, we have no such problems. Abubakar Al Mas is considered by some to be the greatest Yemeni footballer of all time, and certainly the this finest of his era. He represented South Yemen between 1975 and 1989, and even represented Yemen following the nation's reunification in 1990. The United Arab Republic Badawi Abdel Fattah The United Arab Republic is a slightly difficult one to get your head around and is not to be confused with the United Arab Emirates in any way. The United Arab Republic was basically a combination of the best players from Egypt and Syria between 1958 and 1961 and most history books will now just put that team's records down as a continuation of the Egyptian national team, but that isn't the case. Our choice as the UAR's best player is Badawi Abdel Fattah, a talented attacking midfielder who went on to be Egypt's top scorer at the 1962 African Cup of Nations. The Soviet Union, Lev Yashin. Back to a more familiar face, Lev Yashin is another man who recently featured in our video on the 100 greatest footballers of all time. The Soviet Union national team was founded in 1924 and naturally dissolved following the fall of the USSR in 1991. The Soviet national team was actually rather a competitive one, certainly far better than the current Russian national team, reaching the semi-finals of the 1966 World Cup and winning Euro 1960. One man who was part of both of those successes was Lev Yashin, widely considered to be the greatest goalkeeper in the sport's history. Both a brilliant goalkeeper and a pioneer of the position in which he played, Yashin remains the only number one to have won the Ballon d'Or. Other players we could mention include the great Edward Streltsov and another Ballon d'Or winner in the form of Ole Blokken, but you can't overlook Yashin as the automatic choice. CIS Andrei Kanchelskis The successor to the Soviet national team was the brief CIS national team, CIS standing for the Commonwealth of Independent States. Only ever a transitional team, CIS played their first game in January 1992 and their last game in June 1992 but that period did include Euro 92, where they finished bottom of their group. There were a few decent players who picked up a couple of caps for the transitional outfit, but our pick is the best of the lot is Andrei Kanchelskis. A really quick and dangerous wide man, best associated with his four-year spell at Old Trafford, Kanchelskis was Manchester United's Player of the Year in the 1994-95 season. Yugoslavia, Dragan Jaic. There is a real blend of all-time greats and absolute nobodies in this list, and a man who falls firmly into the former category, and another of our 100 goats, is Yugoslavia's greatest ever player, Dragan Jaric. 
Simply put, one of the best left wingers in the history of the game, possessing absolute mastery over the ball, fantastic crossing ability, and a devilish turn of pace. Jaric twice made the European Championships team of the tournament, and he was the tournament's top scorer in 1968, when Yugoslavia reached the final. Serbia and Montenegro, Nemanja Vidic. The Federal Republic of Yugoslavia, which played from 1994 to 2003, and Serbia and Montenegro, who played from 2003 to 2006, are considered to have been just one national team. During their time as Serbia and Montenegro, the national team went out in the group stages of the 2006 World Cup and failed to qualify for Euro 2004. Nevertheless, they still have a very good candidate to put forward as their best player. Nemanja Vidic is widely considered to be one of the outstanding defenders of the Premier League era. An inspired signing by Sir Alex Ferguson, Vidic was strong, alert and uncompromising, and he formed a fantastic centre-back partnership with Rio Ferdinand, despite becoming increasingly injury-prone in his last couple of years with the club. Netherlands Antilles Robin Nelis Having played their first match in 1948 and their final game in 2010 when the Netherlands Antilles was dissolved, the Netherlands Antilles national team never qualified for a World Cup, although they twice finished in third place in the CONCACAF Championships. Our choice as the nation's best player is Robin Nelis, who won just two caps for the country in 2008. A big handful of a centre forward with an eye for goal, Nelis played for the likes of Feyenoord, AZ Alkmaar and Red Bull Salzburg. Right, that's it for every nation, however, there has been a little bit of time since we made some of those videos, and a month is a long time in international football. In light of that, we think there are just three amendments that we would make, and they are as follows. Central African Republic Geoffrey Condogbia In the same week that we uploaded our African video, Geoffrey Condogbia switched his allegiances from France to the Central African Republic. With that in mind, he is now the obvious choice for the nation, ranked number 112 in FIFA's world rankings. Previously capped five times by France, the energetic former Monaco and Inter Milan midfielder joined Valencia for around £20 million in the summer. Burundi, Saido Berahino. Also very close to the time of our Africa video coming out, Saido Berahino won his first caps for the Burundi national team. The former West Bromwich Albion star, who scored 15 Premier League goals in a single season as a youngster, had a well-documented goal drought which lasted two and a half years up until August of this year. The goals haven't really flooded in since then, but Berahino has shown some nice flicks and tricks, as well as bagging his first goal for Burundi, with whom he has now won four caps. Canada, Alfonso Davies The last of our amendments, we almost picked Alfonso Davies for Canada first time round, and now we feel that we have to. He may only have turned 18 last month, and he may only have played in the MLS so far, but this lad is a special talent. The Bayern-bound teenager, who was born in Ghana, is a real threat on the left wing, and he has scored some superb solo goals during his time in Vancouver. He has already scored three goals from nine caps for Canada. Right, now that really is it. Thank you all for watching, my apologies for not having as many videos up recently, basically I've had some time off for the first time in 12 months. I hope you can all have a fantastic Christmas, feel free to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, that can be your present to us, and we look forward to seeing you in the new year.